What's up, everybody? I'm in my car right now, going for quite a bit of a long drive, so I thought I'd record my YouTube video, kind of change up the scenery a little bit. Um, so I wanted to talk about this week. Uh, this week was very painful, uh, and hence the title of the video, Heart Attack with Trading. It was a very painful week, although I did end up the week incredibly green and did very, very well. Uh, the swings from my automated trading systems portfolio was incredibly difficult to swallow, especially on Thursday, the day after uh, FOMC, uh, July, I think it was July 27th. So basically on Thursday, what happened is we had a swing uh, on the portfolio from basically being down 5% to up about 3%, uh, which doesn't sound like a lot uh, percentage wise. But when you're trading with more and more capital, the swings can be painful. And this is the biggest swing I've endured uh, in my trading career. Okay, so um, you know, at one point we were down uh, on a dollar amount basis uh, around fifty thousand dollars, and we swung up to being up um, about twenty thousand. So an incredibly big swing, uh, massive swing, and and something I've never endured before, although I've always expected it because from my back testing and portfolio testing, I was aware of sort of the max drawdowns that could happen. But this was an intraday swing, right? So it, we were down in the morning, uh, you know, NASDAQ and ES futures gapped up. Uh, they started trending upwards and then curling to the downside. A lot of my trading systems would stop out for a stop loss and then go short. And that short was able to bounce back and we ended the day green. But you know, at 11 a.m., 12 p.m., my heart was was pounding. My heart was, you know, just I, I don't know. I don't think I want to say palpitating. I guess so. But it, it was pumping. I was like, holy shit! Like we've never been down this. I've never been down this amount of money. You know, am I stupid? Like starting to doubt myself and whatnot. Uh, it was really tough. It was really tough. But I, I stuck to the system. I stuck to my model. I stuck to my automated trading system portfolio and let things run. It didn't interfere, and it did pay off. Um, which is great. But I wanted to talk about, the, the focus of this video is talking about the pain you have to endure a lot, uh, especially, you know, emotionally, because it's hard to be without emotion when you have your real money on the line. When you're trading with real money dollars that you worked really hard for and you, you busted your ass for this money, it's really tough to see it go away, especially on losing days, right? And there's been many, many days where I, I see a lot of that money go away on, on lost days, but fortunately my, my win days have been bigger, so it's, it's played out. But trading is tough. Trading is really hard. It's really tough. It's not for the weak. It's not for the sensitive. It's a very tough career to be in. You're gonna have to deal with a lot of emotional pain with money, okay? You're gonna have drawdowns. You're gonna have up and down days. And what's really important, what I think what makes good traders is that it's okay for them to feel pain. It's okay for them to um, be, you know, be down when they lose money. That's okay, that's normal, we're human beings. But what makes really good algo traders, quantitative traders is sticking to your model, right? Whatever your model is, whatever your model portfolio is, you need to stick to that model, assuming you built a good portfolio, right? If you followed all the good steps, You've back tested all your strategies. You've included slippage and commissions in the simulations. You've ran them in a simulation or paper account for a period of time and they're all passing. And then of course, all your strategies are, you know, low to negatively correlated. If you follow all those steps, if you follow your model, most of the time you will be successful, right? There's also luck involved. And of course, there's no guarantee you'll be successful. That's why I said most of the time, but if you follow all those steps, I think anyone can be successful. Um, and I stuck to that model that day and it paid off. And sometimes it doesn't pay off, right? Some days you stick to the model and you're up and then you turn negative. And if you maybe sold at noon or sold at 11 a.m., you'd be positive. But I've tested that, I've tried to model that. I've tried selling, you know, what if we sold all our positions at noon or at 1 p.m. or 11 a.m. And I've, I've modeled that, I've back tested that. And it still tells us that no, it's better to let the positions run, let them do their thing and either hold to the end of the day or hit their profit targets, whatever it may be. So I've stuck to that. And it's, it's really tough to stick to that sometimes, some days when you're down. So 
you know, this week was very painful. It's one of the biggest swings I've ever endured. Um, I feel like I've grown from this experience. Like I feel stronger. I feel more stable with understanding how my trading systems run, more accepting of how it's going to run. The swings we're going to hit. And I feel like I've matured a little bit. I feel like I've graduated high school or graduated college where I'm at that next step. I've endured the pain and I've gone through it. Like I said, fortunately, we ended the day green or the, the week green. You know, that, that day we ended green and then Friday was also a big day as well. So, you know, these trials and tribulations that any trader or fund has to go through, you're going to experience it very often. Um, usually once a month there's there's quite of a, a big drawdown that you got to swallow especially the, when you're like me building day trading strategies if you're building more longer term hold strategies or swing strategies those drawdowns can be uh prolonged they feel longer so um yeah overall you know i wanted to share like what i've learned to i guess grow this week enduring that pain and um you know, I know that I can do it again and it's gonna pay off. Maybe next time it won't be a green day, but I know if we get more trading days with our certain edge, we'll eventually bounce back. We'll get out of that drawdown and make new equity highs. So just expect to endure pain. And, and you know, if you can endure it, if I, if I couldn't endure this and maybe I gave up, then I gotta, I gotta lower down my size. I gotta trade less, um, less mini contracts. You guys know I trade uh, uh, futures primarily, or I mean, yeah, only futures, um, you know, sizing down and trading uh, less contracts if you can't handle it. But algo trading is hard, guys. It's very lucrative. It, it's one of the best paying businesses out there, but it's very hard. It's very tough. You're going to endure drawdowns. You're going to probably lose money at the start or maybe in the long run. But it really does pay off if you stick through it. And anyone watching this video that's known me for a while, you know, I've been doing this for many, many years. So the first two years, I you know, failed. I was losing money. I felt alone. I just felt like, what the hell am I doing? Right. And it's really starting to pay off. So which, which feels really good, but you know, you're gonna have painful weeks like this and it's important to reflect, to understand why you hit the drawdown. You know, I'm already thinking of ideas over this weekend as I drive here on how I could fix, how I could fix the portfolio, how I could maybe lower the intraday drawdown maybe add some, maybe remove some strategies, made some, maybe add some negatively correlated strategies. So I'm already thinking about that and how I can improve the portfolio. But, you know, overall, I'm extremely blessed to be in this position and I love what I do. I love, I just love building trading systems, new creative ways to make trades. I like, you know, I like automating these portfolios and watching them run and using math to find an edge and make money. It's, it's one of the best feelings in the world. You feel on top of the world when you get things right. And you feel like the stupidest person on earth when you get things wrong. And that roller coaster of emotions, I live for that. I live for that chaos, as weird as it sounds. I, I just want to embrace it. I want to be in it. I want to eat it, you know, in a weird way and figure it out. Um, you know, this quote that I hear a lot that I really vibe with is say yes and figure it out later. Like that's how you should live life. Say yes and figure it out later. And and that's how I feel. That's how I live. I, I say yes, figure it out, build a portfolio, find some more. If I need to find more negative correlation or take out some bots, I say yes and figure it out later. So that's the vibe I like to live with, live, live life by, if you will. So anyways, that's, that's my rant. I don't want to go on too long here because I feel like you guys got most of your value from this. Um, but have a great weekend. I'm currently driving to my uh, my grandma's here to see her. I haven't seen her in a while, so we're gonna go out for lunch. And um, you know, if you want to learn more about automated trading and algorithmic trading, see the links in the description below. I'd love to work with you and help you achieve uh, algorithmic trading success. So, anyways, have a good weekend, guys. We'll see you next week. Peace. Bye.